guys welcome back to my kitchen my name is Tamisha and you already know from the title and the pot is out behind me we are going to be making some soup today so we're gonna be making an Italian sausage and tortellini soup this soup is so good guys but it's also super super easy to make it only takes about 30 to 45 minutes from start to finish and I'm gonna go ahead and not hold you because we got the pot already ready to go and we're gonna start by cooking off our ground Italian sausage. starting off with one pound of ground Italian sausage I'm using mild today but if you like it spicy definitely um, go for that as well so what we're going to do is just take the back of our um, spoon and just kind of break everything up in here. Um, if you have a spatula, whatever you're going to use, just break it up. But we're going to cook this through and then we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients to build our soup. While our Italian sausage is cooking, I wanted to show you, I went ahead and chopped up all of the vegetables that we're going to use for the soup today. So we're using some um, celery, some carrots and some onions. And I just chopped them up. Let me just show you what they look like. Um, just give them a good chop. I like a lot of carrots. If you watch any of my soup videos in the past, you know <laughs> I like to use a lot of carrots and then I use half of a large white onion. So um, we're going to add this in to our Italian sausage now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of our veggies into our pot and then we're going to cook this down just for a few minutes before we start adding in the rest of our ingredients. And you don't worry, they are going to soften as they cook because we're actually going to let this simmer. Um, for a good bit. So our veggies are going to get nice and soft and tender for our soup. But just get everything into the pot. And now if you had fresh garlic, that would be great to add into as, here as well. I just realized I used all of my garlic yesterday. So I'm just going to go a little heavier than I normally would with garlic powder. But fresh, um, fresh garlic would be great in this. So we're just going to give this another little mix. And then I'm gonna cook this down with our ground Italian sausage just for about five minutes before we start adding in our seasonings and our liquids for our soup. Okay, so we're gonna keep our seasonings pretty simple for our soup. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of salt, some pepper. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of smoked paprika, not a lot, but I just love the flavor of smoked paprika. So we're gonna add that in. Um, if you had fresh garlic, you would add that, and I would add a ton, because I love garlic. <laughs> but I don't have that, so we're just gonna go heavy on some garlic powder. And then I'm gonna just use some Italian seasoning as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding this in now. I think that it's cooked for about five minutes, so let's go ahead and season our pot. So all of our seasonings are in. Um, I just went a little light with the seasoning, except for the garlic. I went a little heavy with the garlic. Um, and also too, um, just like I mentioned a lot of times on any other video, with your salt, go easy on your salt um, to start your recipe off with, and then cook your, cook your soup or whatever it is, your stews or whatever, and then go back in at the end and taste it and see if you need to add more salt. So I always start off light, and then at the end, I can add more salt in if I need to, because you can you can add more but you can't take it away so okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with our liquids for our soup we're going to use a can of tomato sauce and this is eight ounces so we're going to get that in here i told you guys this soup is so easy <laughs> the ingredients are super easy it's just dump it all in the pot okay we're going to use 14 and a half ounces of diced tomatoes And then I also have a box of beef broth. This is 32 ounces. So we're just gonna add that in. Give our soup a good stir. And look at that, like look at the, the I mean, it looks good already, right? <laughs> all of the carrots, you can see all of the spices and seasonings already in the soup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it up to a medium high. And then what we want to do now is bring this up to a boil this is a good enough boil for us so we're going to go ahead and just put our lid on hopefully you got a lid that actually matches your pot <laughs> i don't know where the lid to this pot is but you know what it's okay it doesn't matter what's on top of the pot it matters what's in it <laughs> okay and then you're going to turn your setting down to the to simmer or the lowest setting um you know turn it to low simmer let this simmer for 45 minutes let me go ahead and set my timer because I will go get distracted and do something else. <laughs> 
So we're gonna set our timer to 45 minutes and we'll come back and check on our soup. I want to show you real quick the tortellini that I'm using. So this is a three cheese uh, butoni tortellini and um, I have half of it in my pot. I'm just gonna only use half today. I'm just probably gonna stick the rest of it in the freezer. But this is a 20 ounce pack um, that I picked up from Walmart. Um, I'm only using half because for this size pot of soup um, and for this, the amount of ingredients that I use, half is enough. But if you double your batch of soup, like we doubled your liquid and maybe decided to use two pounds of Italian sausage instead, then I would recommend using the entire pack. But for today, this is good. So I'm gonna get this stirred in and then we're gonna let our tortellini cook in here for about five minutes. Five to seven minutes should be good. But look at that soup, look, look, Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pot off. And I wanted to just kind of clarify, the tortellini goes in after you've already simmered your soup for 45 minutes. So simmer your soup for 45 minutes. Once that's done, then you just add in your tortellini for another five to seven minutes. Um, you don't wanna cook it in the entire time because it would just be a um, complete mush. <laughs> so um, just after you simmer it. But now we want to add in just a little bright freshness to our soup. So I have about four cups of fresh spinach that I'm gonna add in to our pot. All right, so we're gonna get all of our spinach into our pot. And this spinach is gonna cook all the way down. You know, I'm adding like four cups, but once it's cooked all the way down in our soup, um, <laughs> it won't be that much. You know how it goes with spinach. But um, the pot is already off, but it's, this pot is already hot enough. All of the soup and liquids are hot enough that it's enough to wilt our spinach down. So just get it all stirred in and incorporate it into your soup. And here you go, guys. This is our finished pot of Italian sausage and tortellini soup. You see, this was super, super easy to make, very quick for you to whip together for a weeknight dinner, but I'm telling you, it does not lack in flavor. So I'm about to dish up a bowl for myself and enjoy the soup, but I wanted to close out by saying thank you so much for tuning in to another recipe. If you give it a try, definitely let me know. You know I love to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. And until the next recipe, you guys take care and stay blessed. I'll see you next time.